What's going on YouTube? As you can see here, we have some bell peppers. And today we're gonna to be doing some grilled stuffed bell peppers. And as you can see, I've already cut the tops off of them, each and every one. I gutted them out, washed them. So we have some fresh bell peppers that we have already hollowed out. And what we're about to do guys is put this ground beef and some rice in them. And all I used was this garlic, this Lowry garlic salt and a little bit of this Tony Satchery's original Creole seasoning. And that's all I did. I just cooked the ground beef. We're going to take the ground beef out of here and we're going to stuff the bell peppers. So let's walk outside and see if the grill is up to temperature yet while we take the ground beef and the rice from the rice cooker. Okay, here's the rice and the rice cooker that we're going to take and put that inside of the stuffed bell peppers. And this is the long grain brown rice from Zatarans and the rice cooker. So we're just going to take the rice, the ground beef, and some cheese and put them inside of the stuffed bell peppers. So you guys stay tuned and let's go out to the grill and check and see are the coals ready or not. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're out here at the Smoke Hollow Grill, as you can see, and we have some coals and a little wood on the top there. We're going to be cooking the stuffed bell peppers indirectly on that side of the grill. The heat is over here to the left. Let's let this grill get hot and, and those coals settle in, and we'll come back to put them on the grill guys and that is the smoke hollow charcoal grill that i did a review on if you guys haven't seen that video be sure to check out my channel and my page guys and check out the review on this amazing grill so stay tuned guys tonight we're doing stuffed bell peppers on the smoke hollow charcoal grill stay tuned peace all right youtube here we go we have the Rice right here by Zatarans. <clears throat> we have our ground beef all cooked up right here and seasoned, guys. What we're about to do, guys, we're about to go ahead on and uh, open these up like I showed you guys earlier. We cut the tops off of them. We washed them and we gutted them out. And we have our ground beef here that we cooked in this cast iron skillet. <clears throat> the grill is outside and it is coming up to temperature. Take this ground beef. Showed you already, guys. We're going to put that ground beef in there like that, guys. Man, this stuff looks and smells amazing, guys. We're going to take some of this long grain brown rice from Zatarans. And man, that stuff is piping hot. It looks amazing. Let me dump that in there. Let's move this closer so we don't spill anything guys and i'm gonna mix the rice up in the ground beef guys and then we just you kind of you know lightly mix it up and then we'll stuff the bell peppers and put the cheese on the top and then we'll go set them on the grill so here we go guys grab about about two more scoops here guys i would say about three or four cups for me i love rice me and my family we love some good rice and that seems like it's going to be right about enough guys so we're going to let's close the lid on this rice cooker and uh let's let's get this ground beef and this rice stirred up guys i just want to toss that around lightly just to get the ground beef and that rice mixed up real well man that's already starting to look good guys you can use this particular recipe for so many different dishes you like to eat the, the, the options are limitless when it comes to ground beef and rice guys but what we're going to do with this amazing stuff right here guys is we're going to put the put this rice and ground beef inside of these amazing beautiful color bell peppers so here we go guys that looks amazing stir it up enough that's about right and that starts to this looks really amazing guys you guys can see that. I wish you guys can smell that. I'm going to take some Mexican style blended shredded cheese, guys. 
set that to the side until we stuff our bell peppers. And uh, stay tuned, guys. This stuff is going to be amazing. We're going to get these bell peppers stuffed like that. Man, it smells amazing. So you don't make a mess, just take a bell pepper. Just put that in there like that. So if you do spill something, it spills right back into your mixing bowl. I'll do that like that. Kind of give it a slight little press. So once you get on that hot grill, everything is just going to cook and, and just form all just together, guys. It's going to be some good eating right here. You just want to pack it. That's what you want to do. Then we're going to drizzle some, drizzle some cheese on the top. I'm going to take some of this Mexican-style shredded cheese or any kind of cheese that you guys like. I'm going to take that and I like, I won't go, I won't be too stingy with the cheese. Do a half a handful, guys, and just put that over the top like that. And man, that's going to be some good eating, guys. I'm going to do that like that. Next bell pepper. And just repeat the steps over and over. Like that, fix that, get that real nice and pretty. We'll probably take a little bit of that cheese off and put it on another one, but let's continue stuffing these bell peppers, guys. We're outside at the Smoke Hollow Grill. Oh yeah, and it's up to temperature. We're running about 400 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these bell peppers offset from the fire. Some indirect cooking. We just wanna set those on the grill just like that. Just set them there. I'm gonna set them indirectly from the heat. Lean them on each other. And we're gonna shut the lid, guys. Stuffed bell peppers on the smoke hollow charcoal grill. All right, YouTube. We're out here at the grill. And these stuffed bell peppers have been on the grill now for about 30 minutes guys let's let's take a look up a, oh yeah and that looks amazing we're going to call these guys they're ready so we're going to just put them in the pan oh and they're soft and oh yeah these things are ready there's going to be some good eating here guys as you can see oh yeah that cheese and get down in there yeah that meat is done it was already done but that looks amazing, guys. The cheese is melted, and these things are piping hot. They're very soft. So you can just cut right into them. We're going to get them inside, guys, and let them rest for about five minutes. And then we're going to cut into these things. Oh, yeah. These things are pretty heavy, too. Put your hands under there. Pretty hot. We're going to set this over here, guys. We're going to close this. Go ahead on the close the smoke hollow charcoal grill. From Costco and get these things inside guys so meet me inside all right YouTube we just pulled them off the grill we let them rest for about five minutes uh, I popped the top off of one of these things and it looks amazing that rice with that brown beef and that cheese and these beautiful bell peppers stuffed to perfection guys I mean, this stuff looks and smells amazing, guys. Let's cut into these things. And that looks amazing, guys. Give this thing a taste test. And we have a new addition to the show, guys. His, his name is Riley. He's going to be our judge, guys, right here. So there you go, buddy. And so Riley, I want your honest opinion on how this... Stuffed bell peppers taste, okay? Just okay. grab that little piece there with that meat and that cheese in it, man. Awesome. 
Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Fish bump. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, a quick recap. What we did was we cooked the ground beef in the cast iron skillet with the seasonings that I showed you from earlier, guys. Um, once that was done, we brought the Zataran, this long grain brown rice over here to the rice cooker. We dropped that in and we just let that run. Uh, we cleaned and we chopped the bell peppers and we gutted, gutted them out. We gutted the bell peppers out, guys. And what we did was stuffed them from there. After we stuffed them, we just put them on the grill for about 30 minutes, guys, and let them soften up and let them melt that cheese. And there you have it, guys. Good midweek dinner or snack. The kids love it. Everyone seems to like it. So here you have it, guys. Stuffed bell peppers. Cooked on the Smoke Hollow Charcoal Grill from Costco, guys. If you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up button. And just do me a bigger favor and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. And what that does, guys, is it allows you to be the first one to check out the content. We also have merchandise on the way. The New Millions Films shirts. The New Millions Incorporated shirts. Dad hats and the trucker hats, guys. I will leave the link in the description below, so you guys be sure to stay on the lookout for that. Stay tuned, guys, and, you know, support the channel, support the merchandise, guys, and I'll be coming at you guys with a lot more footage, cooking reviews, travel vlogs, just a plethora of everything, guys. So here you have it, guys.